What's everybody doing? All right, so today we are doing a load test on my battery bank, seeing exactly what I can do with it. Um, I haven't even really tested it. I've you know, obviously been using it, but I just wanted to put a load on it and see exactly what I can get away with. So quick, I'll show you. These are all dead. I mean, pretty much dead. I got these. So I'm never really gonna have this many dead batteries at one time, but I've been saving some and I used a couple of them up today um, doing some work. So two at a time, I got my flashlights here. Um, these are just a couple of them. I've got another one somewhere. Um, I got to charge up too. So these will be charging as well, just through the uh, USB, USB ports right there. Um, this one I'll charge as well, but this is only got, it's on two bars right now. So I'm just kind of, I don't have much. I got my uh, worm drive DeWalt over there, but I'm using it. Um, so that's going to be down. Um, so throughout the day, I'll be charging, see what I can get out here. Right here, you're looking at about 90, 91 amp hours of Milwaukee battery. Uh, I've got some more that I'll throw in there, but uh, my battery bank is almost completely charged up. I think it's actually already, it's 13.6. You know, so that's charged. So we'll turn the lights on, we'll turn the inverter on, and we'll get to going here. So, and I'll be using my microwave once, maybe twice, just to simulate a load, because I don't use it more than once a day ever, so far anyway. So, inverter. There we go. She's on. That'll beep. At some point. Oh, sorry. Went the wrong way. We're not on. There we go. Boom. Down. Beep. There we go. We are up and running. So, lights on. I will throw these ones take up about a little more. You can see how much more brighter they are. That's why I have them as set as uh, just a touch on. Sometimes I don't need that light. But here I do. This one up here I do not. Um, I use that one just just in case. But I mean, I had the, the doors open, so everything's up. Let's do this. Got that. I don't think I have any DeWalt batteries right now, but we'll run them through. So this is just this is just simulating me charging stuff through the day. I usually don't have this many, you know, flashlights dead, but I also have I carry a spare one right here, um, and I got a couple other ones. So we are up and running, and you can see it's starting to fall because obviously it's a 12 volt battery, not a 13 volt battery. But uh, we'll come back once these are fished, uh, are finished, and I'll swap some more on. We'll keep charging and see where I stand as far as uh, the uh, four batteries I have. And the four batteries I have are 115 amp hours each. Um, can't really see them down here, but uh, 115 amp hours each. I got four of them. Um, they're deep cycle uh, lead acid, so you know you can you can't take uh, you can't take them down too far. Only 15 or 50 uh, percent. Not like a lithium ion where you can take it down to like 90%. So uh, once this line gets down to 12.06, is about 50%, 12.05. Um, it's going to fluctuate right now because it's just doing the load. So you can see it, it dropping down here, but it'll it'll settle down. Um, and then we'll see where we go. All right. All right, real quick. So it's it settled down. It came down to 12.67, 12, anything like around 12.6 to 12.7 is... 100% for these batteries um, just because they're under load um, we're gonna see a drop here but uh, hopefully I mean I mean it'd be nice if it didn't drop but no we're charging everything so but just keep in mind anything you see 13 volts it's not it's just no load voltage but as soon as you put a load on it it's gonna drop down so now I know my batteries were fully charged when I uh, when I turned all the lights on and started this uh, little test here all right these bad boys are done that was 17 amp hours. Let's throw a couple of these. And I'll have some other batteries here pretty soon once I'm done working. Let's microwave some chili. Oh, one. Let's do it. Come back in a minute. You can actually hear the inverter actually working a little bit. Oh, mix that up. And again. Come back. 
All right, so about uh, 45 seconds, you know, 40 seconds, but I'll just stir it up and we'll be good to go here. Probably help with that. Everything else is, uh, this is all charged up, so it's not actually doing any more draws. You can see the little green lights. So, that's all done. Back at it. All right, I got two more fresh batteries up there charging. I'm going to throw this on there. It's only got, it's only down to two bars, so that's what, three amp hours that it's down. So, but we'll throw it on there. Day's winding down a little bit. And then this one's completely dead, three amp hour Hitachi. So, Get on there so they're working. All right, so keep charging. All right, it's time to wrap it up here for the day. We're gonna uh, head home and then fire everything back up to keep the test going. But right now, uh, I've got no more work here for the day. And I'll turn the inverter off, turn the lights off, and redo this in probably an hour or two once I uh, get back to in the groove of things and break this sheet of plywood down and. Yeah. Whew, tired. All right, well, back at it. Let's turn these lights on and get going. There we go. Turn the inverter back on so we can keep going with this test. What else I got here? Oh, yeah. Oh, we got that. It's going. Charging. Yep, we're charging. And then we've got all these batteries to go so keep going oh yeah i've got to turn on i'll turn on these two just since it's night time so that's that's what i'd be doing all right so i'm gonna get back to work break down this piece of plywood but uh we're gonna just keep on going we're four and a half hours into it so we'll see how long uh see how long it takes for uh yeah, to drain these this battery bank. All right, so this is what we have here. So I just want I stopped it just now. Uh, we were well it's saying 12.2 because there's no load on it right now, but uh, it was a 12.5, 12.4. That's as low as I'm gonna take it because obviously that's that's 50 percent of my battery capacity per voltage, and this is what we have. Uh, all these are all charged. I got the uh, Dewalt that was charged. Um, total of 79 amp hours uh, charged as far as batteries. Uh, I charged my phone from 14% all the way to full. Um, you know, GoPro batteries. My, you know, my other, you know, that I got these three that were char these two are all charged. And four minutes total. I added another time on there on the uh, microwave. So, yeah, that is 50% of my battery capacity. And I, that's that's way more than I need. I mean, I'm not gonna. I mean, come on. Like, who does? I think I, I think I've. I didn't. I haven't charged batteries in almost like probably four or five days, including today, as far as working. Um. So that's it's far more than I need. <laughs> it's uh, it's good. I'm I'm still gonna add a couple more batteries, and I am gonna upgrade to uh, lithium ion because, um. These obviously have four batteries, but technically I can only use two as far as the, the amp hours are concerned because you don't want to draw them below 50%. Uh, with lithium ion, I, lithium ion, I can do well, the battle born ones, it's almost it's 100% 100 amp hours of usable amp hours per battery. So, uh, with just two batteries that weigh less than just one battery, uh, you'll have 200 amp hours, which is almost what I have now. So, having four or six of them will be um you know whatever i need to do as far as microwaving tv you know whatever i need so but yeah that's it that's my that's my test i'm super stoked so everything up here got charged uh not down here i didn't use any makita tools today for well i did but nothing worth uh charging and then that dewalt nine amp hour battery got three amps out of it and hitachi's microwave phone all my other smaller uh smaller crap that charged you can't can't complain that's that's exactly what it's and obviously the inverter itself taking 12 volts and inverting it to 110 uh you know ac current and it takes a lot too so um and keep in mind it's not amp these amps are, are not the exact same as those amps for the batteries because that's 12 volts um and these are 18 volts 
So you got to you got to keep in mind nine amp hours at eighteen volts compo uh, compared to 12, 12 volt batteries, and they have one hundred and fifteen amp hours each. So, and converting it takes a lot. So, extremely again, extremely stoked about this. Um, this is great. I'll never ever. Uh, I don't see myself ever using, and obviously I, I've been lighting this trailer consistently for going on 10 hours now. So I've, I've, yeah, the light, the lighting itself, I'll say that I've left it on overnight and it's, it has, it doesn't draw hardly anything because they're LEDs. So, all right, like and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. I'm glad this uh, turned out and we will, uh, we'll upgrade, uh, we'll update you once uh, there's something to update.